Hello folks and welcome to Tech and More. Hope you all are doing fine and flourishing in your careers. Now, uh, the intent of this video is that we did receive some queries or some requests from our subscribers that uh, you know what I want to go ahead and I want to create an interactive resume. Maybe old, you know, typical doc sort of formats are out. So, but uh, wherever I go, uh, there is some sort of fee associated to it, uh, and uh, you know. Uh, if there is no fee then there is a limit on the number of words or the page i can use so is there a way to build an interactive resume free of cost plus how can i elevate the use of ai uh, chat gpt or any other tool to uh, you know get or fetch some very technical and professional language and include it in my resume as per my profile so we hear you as always and uh, we are here to help you so in this video all in all we are going to see how can you build an interactive resume free of cost using canva and using chat gpt to go and include and fetch relevant professional language for your skills and summaries in the resume right so let's start now uh, i am a big big fan of the harry potter series and uh, you know just i i just had this idea that how if i show you a sample resume if with respect to harry potter right just for fun because you know i did not want to make it specific to a profile because because it somehow confuses the other chaps who are not from that vertical or from that profile right so just a fun thing so you know this is how your resume will look and if you have seen some other portals wherein some fees charged for an interactive resume it looks very similar there is no difference so you have cracked the thing by which you can create an interactive resume free of cost so this resume contains those typical see the content that you give in the resume will remain same in the old pattern the doc pattern and in this interactive ui ux friendly as well but uh, the diff i mean the, the content remains same the only difference is the sort of design and the sort of ui that you use right so you have the name you have the current designation you have the contact details then harry potter says that you know what about me i am extremely powerful half blood wizard looking to utilize my ability to escape death and cast one hell of a potion spell so the folks who have seen harry potter or following harry potter will follow this then you have the skills section and then you have the professional experience so in skills you'll mention your skill sets for example here in you know uh, magic potions and all these i mean relevant uh, irrelevant for you but all in all if you are a developer you can use your skills accordingly for example you know javascript or python i don't know it it depends upon your uh, your profile then in professional experience you'll include the current organizations and the previous organizations that you have worked for and uh, what type of work have you done right now uh, in the educational background you will include your school your college name and preferably preferably i would suggest that if you are an experienced chap go and only include the college name that works that's that's sufficient after a, you know after a point nobody is interested in knowing your school to be very honest right then honors and awards this is very important because uh the, you know is uh, the hrs or the recruitment team give a special attention to the sort of honors or sort of awards you have won because that is a differentiating factor for you right so that's that is all and uh, let me go ahead and let me tell you that how can you and before that i'm so sorry i'm just uh, interrupting in between but uh, the thing is that i will be sharing the public link to this resume so you can have a reference while you're building your own but coming back to the point which i was saying i will be showing you how to create a resume how to fetch a template out of many many options and once you see that i'm quite sure that you'll not be you, you'll not require to access this link right so let's go to the canva home page for now or rather let me take you to the resumes at one go cool cool so i am on the page of canva the searching page of canva i searched for resume and i got these templates you can see there are numerous templates of course you might find some of the templates are paid wherein the crown thing is made it's a pro or a paid version but you need not worry about it there are n number of other templates which are very very good looking and which are free of cost so you can in, you know select any of it for example let me go and select uh, maybe this one customize this template and uh, just you know uh, just start using it it's as simple as that you include your photographs here you include all the details here and uh, that is how you use canva i know uh, you know while watching this video you might feel that oh it was so easy why did he create a video on this the reason being that I, had it been so easy and had it been so widespread with the folks uh, these these people who have commented or requested the ways to create a free interactive resume would not have happened right 
so of course it's easy but it's all about the information in the current era uh, a lot of folks do not know this particular thing so you go and create an account free of cost on canva you go and uh, search for resume and you have n number of templates to go on and then you make your changes accordingly so it's as simple as that right sometimes things are very simple but we do not know of them so the intent is to just well verse you with this uh, thing which is already existing right now this is how you can use canva to build a interactive resume number 1 number 2 as i mentioned in the start of the video that we will be seeing that how can we leverage chat gpt to go and find the relevant content for a resume i mean see design is one thing and then including these details that is for example the skill sets and all these or the expertise this is one thing right so let's use chat gpt to now work on the content of the resume so let me go to chat gpt as you can see i have n number of things already searched for here and what i did in the last query was that i asked chat gpt that you know what buddy tell me some relevant skill sets for the web development profile for an example so it told me these profile oh, sorry these skill sets so i just need to do one thing i simply want need to go and i simply need to open the resume that i, that I already did share with you or the resume that you are working on and you simply paste these skill sets here right it's as simple as that then uh, let's suppose you know maybe let's let's give it a try I did not try but let's give it a try uh, sh share some professional experience pointers for web development profile it's as simple as that right now let me go ahead and let me see what it's saying okay so you know it's giving you so many pointers so now of course see chat gpt or ai is something which is a helping person for you it's not that you simply go and blindly copy paste it but the pointers that you see here use metrics continuous learning so <clears throat> somehow you what you can do is that the type of work that you're doing currently and the type of things that you want to do you make a combination of it using the content which is visible on the screen read them clearly and then include those things in your professional summary page right so for example now in this uh, page we have the pro in this resume we have the professional experience section and we have the key responsibilities right so when you want to include the pointers in your key responsibility in that case you simply give some sort of query to chat gpt as i did in this particular section or in this particular line and then whatever it returns you read it and then you change it according to your own will right so for example here and it is written trained and established an elite unit of highly skilled officers investigated crimes related to dark arts just giving you an example so for example uh, uh, i don't know maybe result oriented statements focus on results and impact rather than just listing tasks for instance implemented seo best practices resulting in a 20% increase in organic traffic so the smart thing to do is that if you are let's suppose an seo engineer you simply go and copy this and whatever person you have worked on or if you have not whatever person you think you will be able to justify in the interview include it here it is as simple as that then uh, for example dis discuss the problem solving skills so you say that there was a scenario where i had to identify and fix bugs i optimized the code all these things you can take it from here uh, you know tailor a bit according to your profile and according to your experience and mention it in the professional experience of course there are other sections as well but why am i focusing more on the professional experience section is because a lot of chaps find it easy to write about me a lot of chaps find it easy to uh, you know uh, search for the skills but this professional experience is something wherein they get blocked so i hope that uh, this this example of using chat gpt made it a bit clear for you of course it takes time go ahead create an account on chat gpt and a note it works even without you creating or registering so use chat gpt and you just have to give a query which says for example uh, if i want to uh, maybe get a professional summary right so what i'll do is uh, tell me the professional summary for qa engineer it is as simple as that right now it is doing something at the back end it gave you a very very beautiful summary now of course you will not be able to copy paste according as it is because it can depends upon your experience and the type of work you are doing but it gives you a structure or a skeleton of what to do right so whatever i mean interactive resume is something we have discussed putting in the content your chat gpt is your best buddy just give whatever you want consider chat gpt or any ai tool for that matter as a very very intelligent colleague or a very very intelligent buddy you have you just ask them the question and they give you the answer and then you you know take the structure of that answer and then you modify accordingly and you include in your resume in the different sections for example professional experience or skills or about me for that matter anything else right 
so i hope that uh, the two pointers that we discussed that was you know building an interactive resume using canva and chat gpt that is building an interactive resume along with relevant content in the resume was helpful to you and uh, i hope that uh, this 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 10 15 minutes that you gave were of some worth so thank you so much for watching and do let us know that if you want us to create video on say anything specific more than happy to help so thank you so much and please if you like the content of course the most typical line please share and subscribe thank you all take care